everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're like me, you love your tools, and you want your tools to be as versatile as possible, and you probably didn't know your tools were as versatile as they are. And something I've always been very interested in is light. And if you've watched my favorite videos before, you'll know that my number one favorite tool is a light. It provides so much for the end user. I wanted to take my lights to the next level. And as you can see in the previous video, hey, we've done that. So I like to take this. This is a uh, 2400 lumen. It's a hybrid area work light from Ryobi. And then I just stick a big old magnet on the bottom of it. I have a couple different ways of doing this. This is a 250 pound pool magnet. And then literally, I can put this on any vehicle, anything that's metal, it sticks in place, it's not moving, and then you just go about your business. So if you think about the strip lights or the big spotlights that people put on their off-road vehicles, typically they have to be mounted to the vehicle itself, and then you have to wire it into the vehicle and put a switch on it. That takes a lot of work, and that doesn't necessarily work all the time. But if you take one of these lights right here, you set a magnet on it, you can put it on any vehicle at any point in time. You can store it in your trunk. You can transfer it to vehicles. If you're a life safety person, such as EMS, fire, anything like that, then you could potentially put this in your go bag and then you can stick it on your vehicle if you're doing search and rescue or if you're just going off-roading. In my particular case, if I go off-roading or I go into the woods, I most certainly use this all the time. A huge thing that I use this for, I'm in New England, I do a ton of plowing and I use my tractor to plow. I actually set this right on top of my plow and I can see everything around me. So I switch it from forward facing to reverse facing and I have clear visuals all the way around me. So today, I'm going to talk to you about how I make these and then how I safeguard my vehicles for them. So stick around, let's get into it. The light is mounted to the magnet. I already have a mounting hole here and that's typically for a tripod but we're modifying that and we're just going to bolt a magnet to it and this is the magnet that I'm using it's a typical magnet you can get it at Home Depot you can get it Harbor Freight uh, very typical uh, this actually bolts out bolts in you have your two or four big magnets down below and that's basically all it is you can get pick these up for around ten fifteen dollars not a big deal I do suggest using a 250 pound pool magnet if you're going to use a single large magnet and then all you do is you just bolt it to the bottom now this isn't really good enough because it it's so strong that you could potentially damage your car that's why I actually took a nice piece of rubber this rubber here is just out of a trunk liner that uh, you know, kind of like a, a mud liner if you will I've shaped it down to make it smooth so I'm actually going to glue this to the bottom of it and that way it's going to provide some type of safeguard for the vehicle or whatever that you're using. So this is pretty bulky, I understand that and this is great for heavy duty applications but maybe you don't need a heavy duty application. Therefore with the secondary light I'm going to take a different approach. I want to widen the base of this and I'm actually going to use two of these round magnets and I got these at Harbor Freight. These are 95 pool pound magnets and I'm going to set them down just like that. I'm going to set the light on top of them and then I'm just going to bolt them to it. It's going to be very simple, very safe and uh, you know there's not much to it there. But in order to do this I want to make sure I have the best base possible so I'm actually going to put a bottom plate here that's just going to be a wooden plate and then we'll bolt everything together.
The best way that I found that you can use these lights is if you set them right on top of your vehicle at the highest point and you cascade an even light all the way around. Even if you're using one, try to get it at its highest point. As you can see right now, I'm going to pan around and I'm going to show you just how good the light is on all sides of the vehicle. I am using the headlights, but this shows you all the way around. It works out super well and I'm able to see it's uh, pure dark outside, but I'm able to still see very, very well. And uh, here's an aerial view. All right, so now I have the light shining on the bed of the truck. As you can see, I have very clear visibility, but not only that, I actually have a light right on the edge of the truck. So when I look at my backup camera at nighttime, let's see how clear that actually looks. Okay, there you go. That's about as good as I'm gonna get it. It actually looks like daylight. So on the reverse camera, you can see everything perfectly. So even at nighttime, all right, everybody, so I hope that was a good example of how I use these lights, not only for trucks and vehicles, things like that, but I use them for my tractor. I use them for just about any off-road vehicle. It's in the situations that you really need the most light that you can possibly get. And if you think about it, whenever you buy a light bar, you have to wire it in. You have to do all these different things. And then once you do that, it's a fixed position. And when it's stationary like that, that really means you don't see in other directions. You're not really omnidirectional, if you will. Um, so with these, it's pretty instant. Within 30 minutes, put them together, put them on any vehicle that you want, and you're ready to go. I drove with these, they don't fall off. Now I'm sure if you were going really fast, you hit a hard bump, there's a possibility they could fall off. I'm not gonna lie. And I can't guarantee this, but I can guarantee one thing, that you're gonna be able to see better than what you did if you didn't have these. So just take into consideration, use your imagination, use this for a lot of different applications. I'd like to see your videos too, so I hope this helped you. If it did, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye now.